The dogs we're good again this week. Here are my top 10. At number 10, we have Colt. Whenever he gets excited, his little ears flare out. At number 9, we have a few stray dogs in Bali watching the sunset together. At number 8, we have Cub. His human dog sat for a friend's puppy this week, and he was not thrilled about that. At number 7, we have a foster puppy named Milo who managed to get into a jar of glitter. Look at you! The good news is that Milo is already recovering from a skin infection, so he needs regular baths anyway. We have confirmed that today Milo is mostly glitter free and doing just fine. At number six, we have a pair of service dogs in training. They're working on some basic positive reinforcement, as well as some sensory training to get them used to typical service dog gear like vests and gentle leaders. Both of these little fellows will one day lend their skills to a family or individual that needs them. At number five, we have Frank. He sees you're making dinner and he would like to be included in that. <laughs> and number four, we have these two dogs. One of them helped mow the lawn this morning, but it's it's really hard to tell which. We have a tie at number three between Lola, who has the football handling skills of a World Cup winner while holding a Frisbee. And Sesh, who figured out how to pick up and balance a ball on his head. Get it, Sesh. He's got tricks. <laughs> and number two, we have Bo. He requires a kiss on the nose before eating his food. Our honorable mention this week goes to John Oliver's Emmy acceptance speech that he dedicated to all dogs everywhere. She was a she was an amazing dog, and uh, <laughs> ouch! Uh, I would I, I would guess I want to. This isn't just for her. This is for all dogs. <laughs> all dogs. You're all very good girls. You're very good boys. You all deserve a treat. Play me off now. <laughs> Thanks so much. Before we get to our number one dog of the week, a reminder that we're partnered with The Farmer's Dog and can give you 60% off your first order through the link in our bio. The Farmer's Dog makes fresh dog food pre-portioned for your dog's specific needs and delivered right to your door. All their recipes are complete and balanced. Their mission is for dogs to live longer and who doesn't want that? It is very loved and trusted by our interim CEO, Penny. If you've been wanting to try The Farmer's Dog for your dog or I just convinced you to, head to the link in our bio for 60% off. Our number one dog of the week, is rowdy. On Monday afternoon, Tommy Holmes, a four-year-old boy with autism, wandered away from his home in Kentucky. One moment he was playing with his sister and the family's three dogs, Rocco, Rowdy, and Kitty, and the next moment Tommy and Rowdy were gone. Police searched for 14 hours with drones and bloodhounds. They eventually found the pair deep in the woods of Nortonville. Tommy was uninjured, but Rowdy had severe wounds to his legs and had lost a lot of blood. It seems he fought off another animal or several protecting Tommy. The family's eldest son carried Rowdy home. Rowdy lost consciousness on the way. He was taken to the vet where he got everyone's full attention. And as of yesterday evening, Rowdy is responding very well to fluids and antibiotics. 